Good afternoon, BookTube. This is Todd Sacco, Todd Spencer Sacco, coming at you with another video. Sorry, I haven't made one in a while. <clears throat> um, I, mean, I invite all readers, writers, and poets, and booktubers to watch this video. Um, I'm going to do a book haul, my current, what I'm currently reading, and my uh, 2022 go reading goals for the year. So first, let me go with the uh, book haul. I've got uh, two fantasy books, one science fiction, and one Western, and one reading reference book. Let's start out with this. Uh, James Mustich, 1,000 Books to Read Before You Die, a life-changing list. And uh, this book will help me save hundreds, if not thousands of dollars, so I don't buy as many books, so I can look through here and... Uh, Find, I don't want to read all the books out of this uh, out of this uh, book, that's for sure, but I want to seek out the ones that I do want to read. So looking forward to this. And um, it's got a little synopsis in the cover of each book on, on all the pages. So that's fun. Now I'm going to get into the science fiction book. This one is called Empire of Silence by Christopher Rocchio, and it's part of the Sun Eater series. And um, I'm looking forward. It, it takes a lot to really impress me and ruffle my feathers when it comes to science fiction. This is more of a lower budget. I wouldn't make, say in, indie author, but uh, this author needs a lot more attention than what he's getting. All, he, he, he needs all the attention he can get. And... Uh, this one came out in 2018. Looking forward to reading this. Now an older one, older fantasy, The Dragon Bone Chair, the Memory, Memory Sorrow, and Thorn series. Um, I had this book a while ago, but I de-hauled it because I didn't think I would like it. But I want to give it another shot. It is I believe it came out in 1990 but I could be wrong it's a trilogy and I want to eventually pick up the other two books and this one is from another lower budget author by Brian Lee Durfree the forgetting moon I discovered his channel through surfing through uh, YouTube and found out discovered that he was an author of a couple fantasy series. He loves books. He loves to read. He loves fantasy. And he named these based off of the Lonesome Dove series. Uh, he was inspired by Lonesome Dove, and that's where he got the title for his series. Um, this, what year did this one come out in? Looks like 2016. So yes, looking forward to reading The Forgetting Moon. He's inspired by Westerns, all types of fiction, and he's read a ton of fantasy over the years, and he works at a prison and helps people get back on their feet when it comes to reading. Cannot say enough about this guy. Looking, Can't wait to get, get, get that in there. And then this book in the back here, this is by Anthony Ryan, but he's popular for his book, The Blood Song. It's got over 80,000 views on um, Goodreads. This book is a, the first in a trilogy. It's called The Pariah. And I tell you, the uh, cover of this just caught my eye. It looks like a samurai planning an attack or something like that. <laughs> so, you know, I've got high, I, I don't have too high expectations for this one, but I want to give it a try and see how it goes. And this one came out in 2021. August 2021. So yeah, what so yeah, what I'm current oh whoops. Oh, 
What I'm currently reading is uh, Lonesome Dove by Larry McCurdy. Uh, this book, I had heard about this book in the past, wasn't sure whether I would like it or not because it's Westerns aren't very popular, but it was described by Brian Lee DeFree to me as a, as a, as a quest adventure where you follow these two uh, cattle herders on a quest or horse, horse herders on a quest uh, from Texas to Montana. So I've gotten a few chapters in and so far I'm liking it. Now for my 2022 reading goals. I wouldn't say I'm a fast reader, but I wouldn't say I'm a slow reader either. I'm kind of in the middle. Um, my goal is to read 12 books a year, so that would be one book a month. If I read more than that, then great, uh, but I don't want to overstretch myself because I found out in Mike's book reviews channel that it's um, not healthy for you to read as many books as possible, you know, to read 100 books a year. It may not be healthy for you. So um, that's my goal is to uh, celebrate my, uh, um, you know, follow my channel and follow, I, I follow other booktubers and I, I mainly want to read uh, more, as you can see, I want to read more history, fantasy, and philosophy for um, for the year of 2022. So here's some philosophy jam for you. some uh, world history, but I'm big into world history. Yes, yeah, some more uh, world history, Lawrence of Arabia. Now, I've been reading the, the uh, Ma, the tale of the Malazan Book of the Fallen, and I just finished the third book, and I decided that I wanted to take a break from it because it's a lot to take in, and uh, I'm not completely liking Stephen Erickson's writing style. I don't know if it's just me or what, but uh, I don't know. Uh, Yeah, so mention to me in the comments what you want to read for the year of 2022, and I'll be happy to respond back. Um, thank you for watching, and have a good day. Bye.